Welcome to yet another episode of Junior Indeal Inter Telangana Board of Junior English. I am Jos Madan Paul on the platform of Alphos e-learning. Today we discuss one of the interesting stories included in Junior English textbook. It is the fifth story titled A Service of Love. A Service of Love by O. Henry. Students, I should say this is one of the most interesting stories included in your textbook. As the title suggests, it is the story of a service of love. Students, you might have often come across the sayings, love leaves none in pain. True love leads to sacrifice. This is also an episode in which we find sacrifice by the two youngsters where there is true love. Students, I know the theme of the story will be the most attractive to you as you are all teenagers. And yet another importance is this is a tale told by America's best storyteller, O. Henry. Actually, O. Henry is his pen name. His actual name is William Sidney Potter. He was born in North Carolina, America. And then he had his early education in a private school. From there, he developed a passion for reading. And to tell exactly, he wrote more than 600 stories. Students, Hanarian tales, we call Henry Hanarian. Hanarian tales are specially noted for their clever twist ending or we call surprise ending. Cleverly he twists and at a moment we do not expect the story to end as a surprise to the readers. The story ends in a surprising manner. This is the most interesting Canarian style of telling stories. The present story, as I told you, is the love of a moving story of two young lovers. Touching story. And when this story is told by O. Henry, it becomes more attractive. You know, the readers, the, the narration is so gripping that the readers feel like race through each line till the end. That's the beauty of Henryan narration. Students, let me go to the story. Here we come across two young lovers. The young man, Joe Larabi, Joe Larabi, who comes from Middle West, wow, a genius for painting. And the young girl, Delia Carthus, who has a strong passion for singing. She comes from the South of America. Both of them came to New York. Both of them came to New York. She has much passion for singing. From childhood, she was passionate. And now her interest is towards playing piano. The two young lovers both come from poor family, but they had full passion for art. Students, you know, 
the main motto of these two young lovers when one loves art when one loves one's art no sorry seems too hard this is the masterpiece statement throughout the story when one loves one's art no sorry seems too hard jo larabi who came from the middle west with a genius for painting as a child when he was 6 years old he drew a beautiful picture beautiful picture of a town pump and by the side a man an important citizen passing in a hurry that was the painting he did when he was 6 years old this effort was framed and hung in a drug store drug at a window of a drug store and then onwards he had great passion for painting students you know in america people have love and respect for art they buy beautiful paintings and how are they sold you know most of the framed paintings will be will be hung at the drug store windows and people just look at if they like they buy it they have a taste for art unlike we or indians and now joel arabi who is 20 years old he left for new york with a flowing necktie and a small capital he hails from a poor family that is the young lover joel arabi coming to the young girl delia karthas she was from the south of america and she was a promising girl a promising singer that her relatives collected a little bit of money and gave her with that amount she too came to new york with an interest to learn music both of them come there joe and delia they one day happened to meet in a studio where all the art lovers gathered music students art students gathered they wanted to discuss their art in that gathering in that studio for the first time joe and delia happened to meet that meeting what to say both of them fell in love and in a short time both were married students how things happened both fell in love both married for when one loves one's art no sorry seems too hard when one loves one's art no sorry seems too hard now mr and mrs larabi began to live in a little flat a flat which is in a lonely place very silent and calm area they were very happy in fact because no disturbance ha huh. what do the young couple need they had their own art and they had each other and they were very happy and joe attended the class joe attended the painting class under the great great magister you know he's famous a painter oh his fees are very high but his lessons are very light delia delia attended her music class under rosenstock a master you know the fame of that musician mm thus the young couple continued their studies they were mighty happy as long as their money lasted they were very happy but the things took a turn 
when there was nothing coming in and everything going out nothing coming in and everything was going out both dreamt one day joe dreamt i would i would become a good painter and i would paint beautiful paintings and people who come for art lovers would come for and they would even come with thick purses thick purses and compete to buy my paintings they would compete in my studio to buy my paintings delia too thought in the same way that one day she would master piano she would master piano and she would conduct concert and in the concert people would gather and they will be ready to pay twice of as usual rates to hear to listen to her piano what a good dream certainly possible ha but really out of all these the best in their life was their home life children their home life in the little flat the warm chat in the evening after they come back from the studies then the pleasant dinners then the fresh and light breakfast in the morning the exchange of hopes to e to each other all these seemed to be a heavenly like life to both of them but after a while art became weak everything started going out and nothing coming in as people say there was no money there was no money to pay their masters to pay their high fees both joe and delia found it difficult how to pay the magister how to pay rasam stock their fees were very high everything started going out nothing coming in students beautiful sentence when one loves one's art no service seems too hard so delia said i must give music lessons to buy our food delia decided i must give music lessons to buy our food two or three days delia went around in new york city to find a student for pupils but one evening delia came back in high spirits jo oh dear jo yes delia i have a pupil i have found a pupil oh the loveliest pupil general 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 pinkney's daughter general pinkney's daughter ha ah, ah, on that 71st street 71st street wa wow, such a splendid house jo you should see wonderful house oh dear jo i i never saw anything like that in my life you know jo my my people my people is his daughter general pinkney's daughter a rich man named clementina ha i dearly love her i dearly love her already she is a delicate girl you know she always dresses in white and the sweetest simplest manners she is just 18 years old i have to give three lessons a week three days in a week and general pinkney has offered me 5 dollars a lesson ha huh? it of 15 dollars a week maybe not able to pay the high fee of rasan stock but i am sure i will find two or three more pupils like this then we can we can i can meet the fee the high fee of my master how happy 
Delhi seemed to be. Oh dear, today we are very happy. Let's have our nice supper today. Delhi, that's all right for you, said John. You are going to work now, leaving your classes to earn money for our food. But how about me? Dele, do you think that I am going to make you work for wages while I continue my painting, while I enjoy my painting? No, no. No delay, that's wrong. I, I too will find some work. What, what work you ask? I, are, I am ready to sell papers. Or I will break the stones and at least earn one or two dollars a day. See the commitment, students. See the commitment. When Delia says she found a student, Joe could not bear it. Make delay work for wages. Delia came towards Joe, hung about his neck. Joe, dear Joe, you must keep on your studies. See, I haven't left my studies now. I haven't left my music. See, when I am teaching music, I am learning music. So, why do you think about that? I am not leaving music altogether. While I teach, I learn. I am always with my music. And so, Joe, don't think about that. Be happy. See, $15 we get a week. And we shall live like Maharajas. Ah, ah. Come on. Come on. You should continue. Cheer up, please. Cheer up. All right. Let's have our food. Both of them happily had their supper because when one loves one's art no service seems too hard when one one, one loves one's art no service seems too hard Delia stated then Joe one day came and said Delia, you know, my master, magister, he praised the sky. Uh, the sky I drew in that particular drawing. Don't you remember? Yeah, in that park, that sky I drew. My master, magister, praised like anything. And, you know, Tingle, Tingle gave me permission to hang that painting at his window in the medical store. And if I will... I will hang two of them there at the window. And if one is sold, if any interested art collector comes and buys, wow, I can get money. I am sure, I am sure, Delia said. Joe, you will come up in your work. No doubt at all, you can do better. I am sure you will do it. She encouraged him and both of them seemed to be happy. During the next week, during the next week, Joe and Delia, both of them went early. Left early, they prepared their breakfast very early and Joe was very much interested in some uh, morning effect sketches. To draw the paintings, he went to the nearby park which was his favorite spot, Central Park. But he liked the early morning to draw the painting, as he stated. So, what to say? Early morning, both of them packed, Delia packed him off, breakfasted him, hugged him, and praised him, and even kissed him at 7 o'clock in the morning when he left. And then Delia too left for her special music teaching class to General Tingney's house. Almost both of them returned very late. Almost Joe returned by 7 p.m. in the evening. Thus a week rolled on. 
at the end of a week at the end of a week delia came home came to the flat very happily but at the same time very exhausted too she had 3 dollars 3 dollars she brought on the weekend the payment she got for the week 3 dollars she brought 3 5 dollar coins she brought and there kept on the table of the sitting room kept on the table of the sitting room sometimes she said sometimes clementina clementina tries my patience i am afraid she doesn't practice enough she doesn't practice enough at all these days oh i have to sometime repeat the lessons for her and another thing wow, quite boring these days she is completely always dressing up entirely in white uh, and that seems a bit boring to me and general pingli her father good god he is the dearest old man every time he comes he stands there by you know jo he is a widower you know and he stands by there all the time pulling his white beard and asking how are the lessons getting on how are the lessons getting on he always ask oh jo you should see their drawing room how beautiful it is you know and the the rugs the carpet beautiful <laughs> clementina she is a funny little girl often she gets some funny cuff like she is strong but sometimes it happens so she is very gentle and very noble in her nature i am fond of her really fond of my clementina my student and then jo jo with pride drew out drew out took out a 10 a 5 a 2 a 1 all new dollar notes he drew out and kept there beside the collection of the earnings of delia totally 18 dollars 18 dollars of jo beside the earnings of delia 15 dollars of delia 18 15 total 33 dollars on the table then just stated delay you know i saw that water color of the tower to a man to a man who came from peria he happily announced what Uh, you you do make a fun make a joke with me uh, man from <laughs> not from peria city yes the man from peria all the way oh, i wish you could once see him the lay he is a fat man you know a fat man with a woolen muffler around his head bald head too hey man from peria city he was very much attracted towards that drawing which i hung on the tingles window and he bought it ah interesting thing dale you know he has ordered another one for next week ha ah, next week he asked me to draw a sketch of lakavana goods yard lakavana railroad and i'm i'm doing that good god if next week too that is sold i will get another 18 dollars jo i am very happy i am so glad that you are keeping on you are sure to succeed in your life my dear jo you are sure to win in your life i am happy both of them seemed to be very happy in their cheerful mood immediately they ordered the weekend 
they got money almost 15 plus 18 dollars 33 dollars on the table shall we have this supper a cheerful one a delicious one yes both of them decided and they had for that night oysters you know children oysters fish shellfish ah, why only oysters immediately Joe ordered let us have champignon stew mushroom delicacy mushroom delicacy champignon too very expensive uh, dishes they ordered and they enjoyed that night once again another week rolls on another week rolls on next saturday weekend next saturday evening saturday evening joe reaches home first joe reached home first he took out 18 dollars and spread them on the dining table then look at his hand see ah, all a great deal of dark paint dark paint like on his hands he went and washed his hands within half an hour Dele Delia came back half an hour later Delia arrives as she arrived Joe ran towards greeting her Dele but he was shocked to find Dele her right hand at the wrist tied up tied up in a shapeless deal of see uh, dark uh, some covering bandages wraps around Dele what happened what happened to immediately after the usual greetings Joe asked her Dele laughed but not cheerfully she was not very joyous that evening she held her hand and said Clementina Clementina she wanted Welsh rabbit dish in the evening you know sometimes she is very stubborn she said after the class after the music class she wanted Welsh rabbit students do you know what is Welsh rabbit is the name of a dish it's a hot cheese dish uh, on on toast hot cheese on toast uh, Welsh rabbit they call it it's a delicacy she wanted to oh good god the moment she told the matter General Pinkney, who listened to, did not even call an attender or call a servant and ask him to get it. He himself ran. Good God, one has to see him running towards to get it. He rushed outward and then got it very, very hot. The boiling dish, the boiling hot dish, Welsh rabbit, he got immediately. And once the lesson was over, huh? she was feeling a bit of pain once the lesson was over she immediately took it and while she was serving the rabbit it spilled a great deal on my wrist and the boiling the boiling dish fell on my wrist and burned a little burned a little jaw jaw came closer took her hand in his hands with love and care oh yes Joe poor girl she started crying you know my Clementina she felt very sorry for it and oh you should see General Pingley he he nearly went mad you know Joe he nearly went mad he he rushed rushed down downstairs 
to get some cotton to get some band-aid and he sent someone to drugstore to get some ointment oil Americans say oil to get some ointment to apply on oh he was really much hurt and he rushed and got those things and he applied that ointment on and bound it with the band-aid huh. Joe uh, it does not hurt so much now. It's okay. It's okay. You cool down. Joe picked her right hand in his hands and looked closely. Pulling at one of the threads that was, some of the white threads, they were hanging downward. Joe asked, Dele? Uh, what did you say? Uh, what is this? Hey, it's it's soft thread hanging downward. They applied oil, no? Uh, soft threads. Soft threads. Uh, they applied oil on it. It's okay, Joe. Uh, Joe? She looked at the table. There were... $18 on, looking at the collection, looking at the earnings, she immediately asked, Joe, did you sell another sketch, another painting? She saw the money on the table. Did I? Joe thought for a while. Oh, this time to the, to the man from Peria. Yes, to the man from Peria, he sold it. Uh, he took that Lakavana goods yard. Yeah, that one I sold. He has taken it off. Uh, he has asked for yet another painting next week uh, of Hudson River and the park. Okay, I will do that. Uh, but, but, uh, Dele, Dele, please uh, tell me uh, at what time in the afternoon uh, did you burn your hand? At what time in the afternoon did you burn your hand? Ah, uh, it was uh, almost five o'clock in the evening. Ah, uh, uh, that that iron. Ah, uh, I mean uh, that rabbit. That rabbit came off the fire about that time at five o'clock. Joe, did you? See that general pingini any time? Uh, do you want to? Joe was silent for a while. He sat on the sofa, then drew Dele closer. Come on, Dele, sit beside me. Joe made Dele sit beside him on the sofa, put his arm across her shoulders. With the other hand, he took her right hand. Dele, my dear Dele, tell me, what have you been doing? the last two weeks. What have you been doing the last two weeks? For one or two minutes, Delia looked into the eyes of Cho. Then her eyes went down along with her head. After a few seconds, truth came out from her mouth and tears rolled down from her eyes. Truth from out of her mouth, tears from her eyes. Raising her head, she said, Joe, I... I couldn't get any pupils. 
I couldn't get any students. And I couldn't think of your giving up, leaving your classes, your lessons. So, I, I got a place in the ironing shirts in that big 20, 24th street. 24th street laundry. Laundry, ironing shop. I got a place to iron shirts there in the 24th street of laundry. I have been doing that work for the past two weeks. Do you know, today evening, while ironing, a girl, a girl, put that iron, iron box on my wrist and got burnt. While coming home, Joe, I was inventing, I was inventing a story, a story of Welsh rabbit dish. I was framing a story that my student Clementina spilled the Welsh rabbit dish on my right hand wrist and got burned. Joe, I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry. Joe, are you, are you angry? No, you are not angry. Are you, Joe? And if I hadn't got to work like this, I know you two would not have sold your paintings to that man from Peria, that man from Peria city. She was wiping off the rolling tears from her cheeks. Then Joe started. Dele, that man who bought my art, that man who bought my painting was not from Peria. He does not worth who the man is. Joe, how clever you are, Joe. How clever you are, Joe. Kiss me, oh Joe. What made you ever suspect me that I was not giving my music lessons? What made you suspect it? Delia, I did not suspect you. I did not suspect you till this evening. This evening, I sent up this cotton waste and this ointment from the engine room downward. From the engine room, I sent this cotton and this ointment for a girl who was ironing there in the upstairs, who was ironing there in the upstairs, who had got her hand burned with an iron. I was working there in the engine room in the same laundry in the ground floor for the past two weeks. Delay for the past two weeks. Job and you, you didn't, you didn't. Yes, Dele. I didn't tell you. I was working in that engine room of the same laundry where you wear ironing shirts. When you came with the banded hand, when I saw the threads hanging down, I identified that this was the band-aid, this was the cotton I sent, the cotton waste I sent up. Then I identified 
हो जो यस माई बेयर फ्रॉम फेरिया सिटी दैट मैन विथ बाल्ड हेड दैट मैन विथ ए वूल एंड मफ्लर टाइड अराउंड द हेड हैंड डले युवर जनरल पिंगनी द रिचेस्ट मैन हैंड युवर क्लमेंटीना होलर होलर क्रिएशन मियर क्रिएशन ऑफ द सेम आर्ट do you call it art do you call it painting do you call it music no these are not music these are not painting both of them look at each other they they laughed with tears rolling out from their eyes and then cho continued when one loves one's art when one loves one's art no service seems no service seems dele stopped him put his fingers on his lips and said no no jo just when one loves when one loves they embrace each other students see how the story ends quick ending at a moment we do not expect a twist has been made by a clever twist has been done by o henry did we ever expect that both of them were working as such jo working there in the engine room of the same laundry and delia dele working there in the laundry see the sacrifice children where there is true love there is sacrifice yes understand us see your teenage love i don't call it love it is infatuation there is much difference between infatuation and love in love there is in true love there is sacrifice as i said true love leads to sacrifice love leaves none in pain both were ready to sacrifice themselves for the betterment of the other for the happiness of the other without being known to each other without being known to each other they sacrifice joe does not know that delia is working in the laundry and getting this 15 dollars at the end of the week at the same time delia does not know that joe her lover her husband is working in the engine room there itself you might have understood when he came on the next weekend saturday with the money his hands were dark with not paint grease oil of the engine room of the engine children this is an outstanding story where we understand what true love is this is the heavenly true love wherever there is sacrifice there is true love wherever there is true love there is sacrifice a life of love is always passing through supreme sacrifices the lover sacrificing for the beloved the beloved sacrificing for the love and when there is sacrifice that love becomes the noblest love on earth thank you thank you very much children